You know, when we have a hazmat situation like this or instances where, uh, say, a white powder is found, those substances are sent to a state lab to determine just how dangerous they are. Tonight, we go behind the scenes of the lab to show you how the materials are tested, the same place where potential swine flu samples are sent to find out if a patient is positive or negative. Shelby Brown has this CBS 6 exclusive tonight. Oh, yeah. Once the lab coats and safety glasses go on, work begins at the Division of Consolidated Lab Services in downtown Richmond. Everything from environmental testing and hazardous materials to identifying genetic disorders using high-tech newborn screening techniques. Well, we actually screen for 28 different disorders. The great thing about this program is by catching them quickly, doing our testing here and getting the children into treatment, these kids can grow normally. On our lab tour, Dr. James Pearson explains these workers are highly trained to deal with hazardous materials, like this worker testing an unknown powdery substance. If you don't see the space spores, then it's less likely that it's anthrax. With more than 650 testing methods, this lab conducts about 6 million tests every year for local, state, and federal agencies, including testing for disease-causing organisms that may be used in terrorist attacks, testing for foodborne outbreaks, and West Nile virus. And swine flu has been in the headlines for weeks. All of the testing for all of the confirmed cases ended up in this state lab. Another process we get to see firsthand. Is she setting up cultures? So we are actually growing the virus. That's part of the process that we use to identify the virus. Highly sensitive and hazardous work. She's wearing uh, a head cover, face shield, and a respirator. So that the air that she's breathing is a uh, an air that's actually drawn through a filter to make sure that just in case something happened that she's not going to inhale anything. Just a snapshot of the vital role this lab plays in dealing with environmental threats and improving the health and safety of all Virginians. In Richmond, Shelby Brown, CBS 6 News.